it's going, you'll probably be about the most famous horse in the world. Would you like it? Huh? The preaching horse, Snowy. Snowy Bucket. It gives me great pleasure to tell you about Snowy. Well, here's Snowy. He's standing right next to me. This is my horse. He's an American Appaloosa. He loves hearing the gospel because <laughs> he has to stand there eight times a week and listen to the word of God. You know, my children, my, I've got five children. I said to them, if I had to write one more book before I died, what book would you suggest? What type of book would you suggest I write? And my youngest daughter, Jilly, she said to me, Dad, why don't you write a children's book for your 10 grandchildren? Okay, I've got eight boys and two girls. And uh, so I started to write this book called Snowy. Now, the book is actually not um, written by me. It's actually written by Snowy about me and about Jesus. So the book is all about Snowy speaking about Angus. <laughs> Okay, and I really think it's going to be a special way of getting through to young children and preaching the gospel in a way that they can understand. Animated television is so popular these days. When my little grandsons, I've got six of them that are a few months apart, they sit there and they just watch animated programs. And I'm saying, but Lord, why can't we do this for Jesus? And so Snowy will be telling Bible stories from his perspective about Angus. He'll be speaking about Balaam's donkey. He'll be speaking about the um, prodigal son, the good Samaritan, but from his perspective, from a horse, from a horse's perspective. Is that right, Snowy? And you're going to talk to these children. My grandchildren love this horse. He comes from America. He was conceived in America, born in South Africa. And he's probably my best friend when it comes to animals. And when I've been away a long time and I come back and we saddle up and we go for a ride together, it is so beautiful and therapeutic. I trust that this book will do the same for your children. It'll be something that'll make them relax and laugh and also consider the importance of being born again because that's what Snowy speaks about. So uh, may God bless you. And I really hope and pray that you enjoy this book and that many other little children enjoy it and that many will come to Christ through the simplicity of the gospel message. Goodbye.